so today the uh, White House spokesman, I can't remember his name, so I'll just call him an idiot for this, for this uh, video. Anyway, idiot came out today and he said that uh, maybe the best option for GM is to file bankruptcy. Uh, what? 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 Wasn't it just, I don't know, two months ago you were saying that we're going to have to pump billions and billions, hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars into GM to keep them from having to file bankruptcy? That was the whole point. So what you're saying is now GM needs to file bankruptcy and we're going to just piss off $350, $400 billion. I don't know what the, I guess that's not a very big deal because we've, we're already going to piss off 18 million or 18 trillion. Turn the deficit or the debt, national debt into 18 trillion dollars in the next 10 years. That's tripling the debt. So I guess 350 billion dollars isn't too big a deal. But, uh, Isn't that uh, kind of uh, symptomatic of the way things have been going for this administration? Uh, we'll print $2 trillion, just poof, out of thin air. And I, I, I'm going to, okay, April 13th, 2009, my predictions for the next 18 months, as far as the economy goes. We're going to see the economy turn around in the next six months. Within six months, everybody will have forgotten about this this uh, recession that we're in. And everything's going to be looking peachy, and everybody's going to be real super high on Barack Obama. Barack Obama's a genius. He did all this stuff right. Now, say 15 or 18 months from now, things are going to be different. We're going to be back in recession, only this time we're going to have super high inflation. Because you can't just print billions and trillions of dollars and add it to the money supply without devaluing the dollar. And that's the whole point that Barack Obama had when he went over to this G20 conference. When he went over there, he needed those guys over there to do the same thing that he wants to do here. And that's what's going to cause our inflation. Because our money is going to be so devalued compared to their money that it's going to just, the inflation rate's going to be at least, in, it's going to be in double digits, 12, 13, 14 percent. Mark my words. You can't just print money. You can't do it. You can't just print up a bunch of money, call the Federal Reserve and say, print up this much money, we're going to sell you these bonds. Because those bonds are going to come due. And we're going to have to pay them back. And... The, the children that we have and our children's children are going to be suffering for this for years and years to come. It's going to come to a point where just the service on the debt, the service on our debt is larger than the budget was 20 years ago. The entire budget. Just servicing the debt, paying the interest, is going to be more than our entire budget was like, uh, 20 years ago. It's almost there now. And we've only got $6 trillion to deal with in debt. You know, imagine what it's going to be like when we have $18 trillion. Here we go. Mark my words. April 13th, 2009. Six months from now, everybody's going to love Obama. Fifteen months from now, we're going to be right back in recession with high inflation. Let's see what happens.